Hello, uh, today's video is about click tags on click tags. So I'll start off with what we are going to do. Uh, say you have a button, there are multiple ways to detect if it has been clicked. One of them is to use an on click listener in your Java. Another way is to call a function from the XML with on click and then defining the function inside main activity and so on. But uh, there's an issue. Say you have uh, two, three buttons which perform very similar functions. You'll have to define uh, multiple on click listeners or multiple functions for on click. So I'll sh start off this way. Say I have two buttons uh, wrap content, wrap content. And I say this is So say I have two buttons to increment and decrement values. They do very similar functions. One of them does a plus plus and the other does minus minus. But defining two different functions or two different on click listeners is going to increase the number of lines of code. So I'll show you how to reduce the number of lines of code using the tag. So for each button, first I'll have a text view, edit text here just to edit text. Uh, And I'll put an ID ET. Okay, so I'm making a small counter kind of thing. So I'll just do, yeah. So what we need to do is uh, associate a tag with each button. So the tag here will be Android tag. Say decrement and call a function uh, clicks click I'll copy this it will be the same here it will be the tag here will be increment yeah so both these buttons are calling the same function but the thing that will differentiate them is the tag so it's increment here decrement here now I'll go to Java I'll define my function click I'll first find the edit text. Now, uh, this function will be called only when you click the button. So I need to figure out what's the tag of the button which was clicked. So the button comes from this view. So all we need to do is string tag t, that is my tag, is equal to uh, v dot get tag and it will be an object format so I need to convert it to string to string so this will return the tag of the button that calls so there are two possible tags increment decrement you could have n number of tags now I'll compare if uh, tag dot equals sorry t dot equals uh, don't use double equal to that doesn't really work well with strings so do, use dot equals for comparison if my T equals uh, increment and one more thing I'll have an integer here int val is equal to et dot integer of dot value of et dot get text so that will get the current value in the edit text if it's increment I will do val plus plus there's only one possible other value so I'll just put an else else val minus minus now I need to update my text so et dot set text plus val uh, to string it's an object that's it so that's how you read the tags I'll now run the code and we have our code here I'll run it increments decrements it's just one function doing all the work so that's how it works uh, you can use tags for identifying different buttons using a single function so give it a try and thanks for watching